using a pair of compass, mental map, times tables, 7 times 6 equals 42, 6 times 7 equals 42, addition, 48 plus 65 equals 130, subtraction, 40 minus 58 equals negative 18, division, 30 divided by 6 equals 5, square numbers, again the square of 11 equals 121, the square root of 121 equals 11, and the cube of 11 equals 1331. The cube root of 1331 equals 11. Decimal addition, you may use your calculator to check all answers. 14,58 plus 12,07 equals 26,65. Decimal subtraction, 18,96 minus 9,89 equals 9,07. Decimal multiplication, 0, 0,13 times 0, 0,12 equals 0, 0,0156. Decimal division, 2,8 divided by 0, 0,2 equals 14. Multiply both 15 to get whole numbers, 28 divided by 2 equals 14. Fraction addition. 6 over 7 plus 1 over 2, find the lowest common multiple, 12 over 14 plus 7 over 14 equals, 19 over 14 equals 1 and 5 over 14. Fraction subtraction, 5 over 10 minus 3 over 8, find the lowest common multiple, 20 over 40 minus 15 over 40 equals 5 over 40. And again we simplify 1 over 8. Fraction multiplication, 2 over 3 times 1 over 4 equals 2 over 12. We simplify 1 over 6. Fraction division, 2 over 3 divided by 1 over 4 equals 2 over 3 times 4 over 1 equals 8 over 3. Using a pair of compass, draw a line segment with a straight edge. Remember, a line segment uses a notation AB, which means it starts at A and it ends at B. There we have a line segment AB. Now draw line segments of 3 centimeters. 18 millimeters and 2,4 centimeters. You can practice on a, this on a piece of paper. I'm just going to draw 3 centimeters. There is A and B. How to draw a circle? How to draw a circle? We name a circle after its center point. For example, if a circle has a center A, we call it circle A. Every radius will therefore be a line signal labeled A. For example, AB or AF. Learners draw a circle with a radius and label it. To draw a circle, the figure, picture 1, accurately, we use a pair of compass. Set the compass to the radius of the circle. The radius is the distance between the center and the circumference. It is half the diameter. Make sure that the hinge at the top of your compass is tightened so it doesn't slip. How to draw a circle. Now we tighten the hole for the pencil so that it does not slip. Align the pencil lead with the compass point. Press down the compass point and turn the knob at the top of the compass to draw a circle. How to construct perpendicular lines from both sides? Step 1. We draw a line 
and make a marking A there. Put the compass point on A and open it so that the pencil touches B. So you have measured the length of AB with the pair of your compass. Step 2. Leaving the compass point on A, we draw an arc with the compass roughly where you think the perpendicular line is going to be. Step 3. Now you move your compass point to B and you draw another arc that crosses the first label, it as C. Look at the drawing and do the same to get D. Now you're going to do it at the bottom of this. Finally, you have constructed perpendicular lines on both sides. How to construct a 45 degrees angle? We construct a perpendicular line. So we're going to follow step 1 to 3, how to do perpendicular lines. Step 2, leaving the compass point on C, we drew an arc with the compass roughly halfway between C and B. Place it now on B and you draw an arc crossing the first one. Mark it as D and draw the line which now creates two 45 degree angles.